Hello, Monster Band here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and the third part of my Katarin campaign. It's been a couple of days since I last played. Next time I record an episode, it's going to be a week because uh, I'm going on holiday. So I'm, I'm batch recording while I'm on holiday. So by the time it would have been, a, I will have no idea what's going on. And I don't have an idea what's going on now. So good luck, everyone. Are we going for Prague? The fact. <laughs> The fact that the, the fact that this is going yes we're going for Prague suggests that we work that is that could well be the plan. Are we just going to ignore Hammer here? Hammer got a beating, didn't he? He has been hammered, if you know what I mean. I'm glad people cheered me. Um, so, hmm, what kind of garrison do we have here? Not particularly good. We, I do want the Strout seat. That would be nice. Do hmm. Le right, let's upgrade this. Right, so if Hammer wants to come down, he, he might be able to take Volksgrad, but if we get some defences here, he'll struggle to take that. Then we can go and take Prague. The sooner we take Prague, the better, right? Ah, oh, it's fucking Father Ted. It's, does that? That's not how you spell. Fuck. Uh, d no, wait, no. What? Hang on. <sighs> Hang on. I'll, I'll just start again. This is, this is why I never fucking do names during the episode. Father Ted, the money was just resting in, in his account. And... Indeed. And um, we're going to... Right. I'm... Mm, yeah. No, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're, gonna, we're just going to go for Prague, I think. I think that's, I think that's the plan. I've got damaged buildings there. I'm not going to care about that. Hammer might attack it, and if he does... Well, I guess it's hammer time. Hey! No one cheered that time. That's sad. Uh, he's wandered off. That's fine. Good. Uh, the Brotherhood of the Bear are doing a thing. They like me. That's good. We've got the Crystal Cloak. Zinch seeks to weaken Kislev by thing. That was a word. The affinity between crystal and ice. What? Does not make any fucking sense, Zinch? Right. Crystal, yes. Ice, yes. Both kind of glittery. Y yes, so therefore there is a link there. No, no Zinch, that's not how that That's No, no Zinch, that's not how those two things work. Well, it does in my realm, so fuck you To do this, he requires the Crystal Cloak. In the confusion of Boris's death, agents of the Changer stole the Crystal Cloak Why? Steal that woman's cloak Because that's going to help me Fucking, fu you know, I'm not going to even <laughs> I no, no, Zinch, no, 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 stop it, you're not, it's not happening, what do you do, oh, you replenish troops, oh, that could be useful, right, let's get you, let's get rid of the useless bloody cat, because let's face it, he's just garbage, he's a garbage cat for garbage people. This will help with our replenishment, which is what we want. Bosh. Nice. Good. We're doing it. It's happening. And you've not moved because I ended turn, didn't I? So basically what I've done there is just slowed myself down. Well done me. Um, some, some people may think that I don't know how to play this game. Anyway. Free speech is not a right. Oof. A self-proclaimed truth speaker has been touring the Sanistas, spreading a message of faithlessness. This, blas this blasphemer has seduced our citizens to believe in the great orthodoxy is merely a political contract designed to keep them in line. Which is true. Arrange a little accident. Have a little talk. I guess we arrange a little... God, this feels dirty. Can we just have a little talk? It's probably going to be bad, isn't it? Fuck it. He's, he's had an accident. Accidents happen, you know. Sometimes. Sometimes accidents happen, and uh, that's always very sad when it does. Right, we're going to go and hit Prague next turn. Let's go and do that. It's going to be great. Trust me. You are back, apparently. Jesus, that didn't take very long, did it, Hammer? Fuck me. You know nothing. Of your replenishment? No. Jesus, big gains. Yikes. Oof. You know, one minute he's like half dead. Next, he's 
Back up to full strength, motherfuckers. No, no peace. Only war. Oof. Let me guess, he's probably got two stacks, hasn't he? Hammer, why are you besieging it? There's literally no point, mate. 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 Alright, well, we're getting garrison there. That'll hopefully... Wait, what was that? Patriarch descends upon every home, rooting through drawers and overturning bookshelves in search of any hint of heresy. Countless kids of are dragged from their homes, beds and... Holy shit! Are we the baddies? <laughs> as, as we're executing innocent people. Are we the baddies here? Hmm, maybe. Anyway, uh, let's get some siege towers because we're probably going to need them to take Prague. But we will take it nonetheless. Shall fall. Let's build this. How are we doing for... Not that one. We don't have enough money for that one. This one. Okay. For, so, right. Yes. No. I mean, we could... Mm, oh. High chance of a chaos incursion. What does that mean? I guess we'll find out. Devotion's not good. Oops. Never mind. Okay. More campaign movement range. That is not useful right now, but... Okay. We, we should be fine here. If we upgrade the rest of these settlements, we'll basically be safe. Uh, they had to throw two stacks of troops at Volksgrad, and they barely managed to win, so... This is fine. Hollowed... I don't even know what hollowed wood buildings are. Missile resistance for those guys. Eh. Melee defense for cost of... Eh. Cash, ah, cash replenishment rate. What's that? Uh, healing herbs. And I'm surprised it's not like, I don't know, distilling orphans through a meat grinder or something, considering. Jesus. Uh, join war against... Cl I'm kind of busy, actually, thanks, but I will... I'll jump right on that as soon as I get around to it, trust me. Um, I'm just busy with the old... Um, uh, do I fight this or do I just... Ah, oh, fuck, I can't be asked. You just sack it? He sacks it. Chaos incursion. Uh, well, that is... unfortunate. Ah, we should be fine. Let's build the city watch just to be on the safe side. It says Pyrrhic Victory. We do have the towers. Because that Chaos Incursion, I think we should probably do this sooner rather than later. I'm starting to think that Kislev may be a teensy bit authoritarian. Maybe. A tink tink little bit. Ooh, nasty. Never mind. So Kossar's moving up, covering the siege tower advance with arrow fire. And the enemy army lined up on the walls there. Trying to hold us back. That, that was that was Catherine's ice magic. You just couldn't see it because it was down on the ground there. But trust me, it was pretty effective. So Kossar's giving fantastic cover for the towers. They're all going to reach the walls fairly unmolested because, of course, you can now damage towers with arrow fire, which does make them a lot easier to take down in Warhammer 1 and 2. It's very rare that you'd actually see a tower because towers could... I mean, siege towers could usually reach the wall even being attacked by two towers without going down, usually had to have some artillery in there as well. And that almost never happens, so... The armor Kossars fighting the Tsar guards. We're taking up positions on the wall there. And of course, because we have those missile attacks, because of course everyone in Kislev, everyone in their Ma is packing. As such, we are going to take up a position up on the wall there so that we can basically just shoot down at the enemy. There we go. Just going to pop off some shots. Oh, lovely stuff. Fantastic. And armoured and shielded as well, which is going to make them very difficult to dislodge from that wall without melee attacks. Missile, missile units. Most of them still hanging back off the wall, obviously, with taking the wall. 
the towers won't be shooting us anymore. We will be taking fire from inside the settlement. And it'll, is it Death Frost? What's this? Oh, Heart of Winter. That's the one. Now, Heart of Winter is absolutely devastating. Damage ticks up over time. And if you just stay in the range of it, then, well, bye, basically. Just good night. Yes, indeed. Enjoy. Oh, God, look how much that's absolutely wrecking them. 300 damage a, a tick at that point, and they're basically all... I mean, they haven't lost many members of the unit, but they don't need to. They're literally almost all dead. A, a stiff breeze will take them out. More units now filtering up onto the walls. I feel like we can probably win this mostly through just sheer missile fire. If you thought the High Elves were bad, then Kislev is just so much worse when it comes to... I mean, or better when it comes to the sheer amount of missile fire that you can just level at an enemy. Now, while we are whittling down the enemy, we are also entering the city. That's right. Prague, we are inside you. We've got uh, Father Ted. That I found out that the 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 dark, the the soul siphon thing that Cat can do with works really well on Ted. Just like siphon, just suck his soul off a little bit. He's fine. He'll walk that off. Like you know, if if Ted were to die, I'm not that bothered. So he's not that integral to my battle plan. So he's fine. Um, more than happy to. And plus, you know, eventually we can make him immortal, so we can just. Sip at his soul whenever we like. So that's nice. Unless you're Ted, of course. So these are our great weapon. Oh, we're fighting enemy armor. Oh, it's going to be a big old mace on mace. Hot mace on mace action. Swinging big maces. Big burly men swinging big burly maces. And then Father Ted in the middle there with a, with a slight health deficiency thanks to the whole sort of soul siphon thing. Cavalry now joining the fray. So they're going to engage the Cossars. There's also enemy cavalry coming in from the rear as well. And then over here, our cavalry have actually managed to like chop down the gate and can enter the city from behind. I don't know really what I want them to do, but I, it's, it's something, I guess. So you've got dervishes and armoured cossars, um, but I've been saving my winds of magic so that we've got enough for a little heart of winter. Ooh, nice. So while these guys are all bunched up here, Katarin is prepping for another little heart of winter. Drop that right on top, because it doesn't do any damage to our units, it only does damage to enemy units. And so while they're all blobbed up here, See that uh, it starts off very slow at 25 to 50 damage per second, but as we saw, it, it ticks up to 300. So as time goes on, and the you know normally, uh, if you were a player, you'd be moving out of this, obviously, but the the AI is not that bright, so it's just going to sit there and take all that damage. And so these guys are just going to start dropping dead. And there we go. That mopped that up very rapidly. And the enemy garrison is now breaking through army losses. Leaving us with the delightful cursed city of Prague. Lovely. Can't wait to meet all the people currently melded into the walls from the last Chaos Invasion. That's going to be great. A few losses there, but pretty good. Did lose a little bit of supporters, probably because they're now dead. Right. Anyway, oh, a ring of darkness. And we've got the ring of darkness. We've got that, that staff, which I've been using on Ted to like, suck his soul out or whatever it is. It's, he's fine. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. He's all right. He's fine. I could... Cool. I mean, do I really want to do that, though? Um, what, ooh, actually, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hold the phone, because I want Arcane Conduit. So if we spend another spell in, another point in here, we can get Crystal Sanctuary. It's not... It, not well, this, I, I, guard I guess it's fine. 
I guess it's fine. More magical reserves would be good, so let's grab that one. And Ted's, I want you to... I guess... Uh, replenishing troops is probably... Well, hmm. Let's get Urson's Roar as well. I think we can... we only pick one of these? That's probably fine. Uh, good. So we've got a little bit of extra garrison there, which is perfect, because that's what we wanted. Uh, more supporters is probably a good idea at this point. I could probably knock that down, because we don't necessarily... Because we're not really recruiting here, at least yet. Because then we need to come down, deal with that guy, and then deal with this guy. Yes, it's going to happen. I don't care. It's, it's, we, we've got to bop you. Um, I'll upgrade that one as well, just in case. And... Oh, okay. So, only so many kids have some tools available, and the needs of town, but blah, blah, blah. Right, so, we can muster and drill. So, that's going to increase the recruit rank. Again, plus one recruit rank, not really that useful. Construction cost reduction for all buildings, though, would be a massive saving. So, let's grab that. I like this. I, I like having, like, little upgrades that you can pick between. I... Especially ones that make a big difference. That's that's a lot of fun, in my opinion. Um, and I would like some Streltsy, because uh, those boys are pretty fucking legit. Pretty fucking legit. Uh, let's... More control. No, income. It, what what do we have at Kislev, actually? Income. That makes sense. That's That would, that would make sense. Yep. Good. Obviously, the Ropsman clan no longer have a home, and I see... Yep, there comes Throts. What happened to that army? Where did that army go? Did someone kill it? Weird. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, no. Oh, because they got 50 supporters before we did. Uh, never mind. Bloodstained Armour of Morkar. Um, look, I, I, I don't want to... Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I feel like having got a, you know, an evil pulsating black ring. Not, not, not that type. And... And he... What? What? Is, and then the bloodstained armour of Morkar, who was the first ever chosen. Plus the... Uh, with, <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe, like, like maybe I'm just reading too much into it, but I, I feel like we might be being the bad guys here. Right, you've just got a stack of garbage, haven't you? Yes, it's just a stack of garbage, so I don't really have to worry about that. That is fine. We've lost Volksgrad, and they have another army, so I am going to have to deal with that. But I can't leave Prague yet, because the garrison is fucked. So, going to have to sort that out. What do we get here? The bleakness. Oh, the cursed area. A remnant before the chaos invasion where the dead do not rest easy and convicts are banished. Fun. That is fun. Hmm. Magnus Gardens. Oh. The Citadel of Prague. Global recruitment duration, minus two turns. That's really nice. That is very, very nice. But let's get some more income. So they beat, does that? It, it's very hard to beat Castelton because to start off with, because obviously you're fighting a lot of Kislev people, um, which You've does. Insulted me. You've insulted Kislev. Okay, I'm, I am the queen though. So just FYI. Kislev, then. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. For, like, thank you for your city and giving me all your money. That's very kind Daddy. of you. Very, very kind indeed. So I still think we need to worry. I mean, event uh, eventually Prague will be able to hold out against that complete pile of garbage. But for the moment, we'll just hold back. Uh, see if we can My maybe lure him in. Yep, love a good polk. Whatever that is. Let's throw it fucked off. Mission is to upgrade any settlement to level 5. What's this? It's uh, a balalaika of the Arari. Ah, uh, that's fun. 
the shield of the merworm, and a filth mace. Oh. Now, my rule, my decision. they are heading towards here, but we do have a fairly beefy garrison. But, uh, two fucking armies. Two fucking armies, eh? Okay, the garrison here is very strong. We don't have to worry about that. And the one at Prague is recovering very nicely. That that should be fine. That should be fine. I'm not too worried about that. We do... I'm... Like, the, these guys are just going to run rampant. The, the problem with the AI is they don't care about their own settlements. They do not give a shit. So they'll do stuff like this. They'll throw themselves at your settlements. And they won't, like, care about their long game strategy. Like, I don't know. They, they can see Katarin heading towards them um, when they're undefended. And they, they won't really care about that until their armies get wiped out and they just rebuild them at the place where you're going to be attacking. That's that's basically what they do. I think we are going to have to try and defend this. Um, this does look quite nasty. And we may be able to do a lot of damage to them. And we did a lot of damage last time. I don't know if we'll hold out, but it's worth a, it's worth a pump. Now, we've just allowed these marauders into our city. That's right. We've pulled back to the, the center here. So, we have a couple of units of armored Cossars holding this flank. Over here, we've got some Zargars. And then we've got all the Cossars behind them. And then we've also got the Cossavite Dervishes. Now, my plan is basically hole up here try and get some very potent towers. So if we can get the, the 2000 supply tower here, that will really help us. And basically it's about doing as much damage as possible to the enemy army. I mean, they've, they outnumber us three to one. So the likelihood of being able to um, to defeat them is, is not great. But already we're doing fairly good damage. It kind of depends how, how long our ammo lasts for. Because our ammunition will start to, to deplete. And once we're out of arrows, we'll have to mellow them. And that's going to that's gonna be tricky. They are actually... Now, I, I often am quite mean about the AI in, in doing settlement battles. But they've actually already taken one objective. And they're taking another one there. And it looks like they're moving units here as well. So it does look like they are actually hunting down those objectives. Taking them down. It might be... And here's my thinking. It might be that the units get distracted. Like, if... If the AI... Because I, I know from... There was this fantastic little uh, talk they did when Warhammer 2 was coming out. And it was all about how the AI prioritises things. Was it when Three Kingdoms? I, I can't remember, but... I think it was Three Kingdoms. They were talking about Three Kingdoms and how the AI prioritises things. Um... That was on the campaign map. No, it was Warhammer 2. They were talking about the siege battles. and about how they pro So, basically, during a siege battle, the AI sort of, like, components their armies up into segments and decides how they're going to attack the wall. So, for example, you may notice that, like, a bunch of units will hang around with the ram as it advances, and that's that, like, little contingent they're using to take, to take that gate out with the ram. So I'm wondering if maybe, like, they, they, they have a unit, they go, right, this unit's going to take this objective, but then another of their units gets wiped out. And suddenly, that unit that's going to take the objective gets a contravening order to do something else. So although it was going to take out, you know, the objective, suddenly it goes, oh, wait, no, something else. So I, I'm thinking maybe that's what's happening. So basically, they want to take the objective, but suddenly they change their mind because, you know, another unit's been wiped out and it's needed somewhere else which kind of makes sense I guess but ultimately often doesn't really help them. So we've got our tower up so this is the, the ice blast tower. Unfortunately it, it's mostly shooting at people that are running away which is not ideal. I do, you know, We want to be killing these guys. There's a lot of a lot of big burly men here that definitely need some arrows in their heads. Fortunately the Zargards are very very tanky so we'll be holding that line very well.
over here. Uh, we've mostly blunted this attack. There's a lot of dead bodies here. Looks like we've got marauders and some javelins, which they're trying to use against us. But again, we just got a lot of archers. We, just, we really need to deal with this blob here. This blob here is the problem. We also have enemy reinforcements, you can see, coming in on the map. If we have a look over there, you can see, yeah, there's just, there's just a horde of them. A line. Okay, we've now got a lot of missile fire coming in. They've pushed the Zargard back a bit. That's actually worked to their detriment as now we're hitting them in the flank. Ooh, that tower shot is uh, very strong. Looks like they're trying to push their way through the Zargard. It's just not going very well for them. Taking a bit of javelin fire, but our Zargard do have those silver shields. And we just got a big blast right in the center there. It looked like it took out the Zargard, but the Zargard are immune, or your units are immune to your own tower fire. So you don't have to worry about that. So a lot of arrows just raining down on the heads of these marauders. It's not looking very good for them. They are struggling quite badly. I think they've lost their general, but there's another general over here. So they've almost managed to batter their way through the armoured Cossars. But to do that, they've expended a lot of strength. Looking at numbers here, we've actually managed to kill a sizable... At least a third of their army is now dead. And we've lost basically about 100. The vast majority of this big blob is now fleeing back the whence, from whence it came with significantly less troops, and they are still chucking javelins at us. But it looks like a, a lot of missile fire now coming in there, and uh, that is going to be absolutely devastating to them, because of course they are large units, very easy to hit on their horses. Missile cavalry does not want to have a, a duel with missile infantry. They will always come off worse. Enemy cavalry. Oh, the Berserkers have gone out of control. Trying to force their way through these armoured Cossars. The tower is helping out there. It looks like they're just trying to push their way through. We do have another tower placement here. And I, what I want to do is when we get 1,800 is build the, the tier 3 tower here. Because I think that could be quite good. We get that tower. That can then help cover us. That's the hope, anyway. So there's Hammer. He is axing his way through the Zarg. We've brought our Zargard round to help as well. Because we've managed to blunt this attack. Um, these guys are now fleeing back. There's no more attacks coming this way, which means we can turn all of our Archer fire now to dealing with this blob of javelins. Not to mention that tower is doing significant damage. Looking at numbers now, they're actually down to half of their army. They've lost half of their army, and we still have ammo left, which is really good. Lots of arrow fire now coming in there, and you can't really miss. There's so many of them. And the tower's just carving its way through them. Extraordinary amount of damage being leveled down at them. The Kosovite dervishes have made a break for the open area. They're going to head around here, maybe see if they can take some more objectives. We've still got a few more units more orders meandering around. The enemy general is causing us some issues. He's trying to break through our line. However, that tower is 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds away from being completed. All right, we're starting to run out of ammunition. However, our army has held together surprisingly well. So what I can do is, if it's starting to look a little bit dicey, the dervishes can come in and do some rear charges. I'm hoping I'm not going to have to use them, but if we do... Ooh, so that lightning blast was this tower over here. So this is a tier 3 tower. And... It's pretty good against single entities, so I'm hoping it can maybe take out that Marauder Chieftain. That would be nice.
So you do have a big blob of marauders trying to force their way through, but those towers taking chunks out of them, and they are not not breaking through fast enough. Almost out of arrows, but looking at numbers, uh, we've killed over 2,000 marauders for barely 200 losses of our own. Uh, looks like Hammer's had enough once again. He's trying to flee out of this. That's it. Piss off, you big jerk. Go and take your parachute somewhere else. Look at the... N Jesus. I mean, I know some of these bodies are ours, but yikes. That's that's a lot of... That's a, that's a lot of dead marauders. This is going way better than I thought it would. I thought we'd banish to, like, you know, kill a bunch of them. I didn't think we'd, like... Uh, okay, well, army losses seem to be taking effect. And although there's still some big chunks of enemy army still alive, they're fleeing. They're out of there. We've won the battle and killed just so many of them. And then on top of that, we still have our Kosovite dervishes, who are going to be very good at chasing down and killing any units that are actually still left alive. So although they still have some units which haven't taken any damage, they 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 ain't they ain't going back to their longships. Oh, look at that. I think we're going to take the devotion because we kind of need it because apparently people are not, not that not that happy. Face off, the horror of the of fire broken to find that blah, blah, blah is a grain. Uh, Minitri faces of a lowering beast. Oh, find the source would give us spell resistance in an area, which is quite nice. Allow the farming to continue. Yeah, burn it all. Minus four corruption. Um, let's find the source. More casualty replenishment. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, you've just got your ass kicked. So I'm going to go and retake Voxgrad. Well, indeed it was. You threw yourself at my defences and got your ass. Oh, no, there's going to be a rebellion. Uh, can I untax you? Okay, that'll help. <laughs> uh, why are you sad? Provincial instability. Well, I guess that would have an effect. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Let's get more money, because I'd like more money. More leadership for Zargard. Eh, I can live without it. Melee defense for Kossoth, maybe? Like, I, I think this is the problem with the technology. It's a uh, I mean, pirate weapons there. Okay, that sounds quite good, but like, a lot of this tech is like... It, it's not... It's not a case of, oh my god, I really need this. It's sort of like, uh, I guess, what's the best one out of this lot? So, like, pirate weapons is good, so we've already got that. I guess we could unlock more... Income from trade? Uh, less corrupt. I mean, you know, less corruption is not the worst thing to have. So we can't get that until we have. Mind you, we we, we have Kislev and Prague now. We just don't have Erengrad. Um, so once we get five of these, we can. You know, which is fine. Income from all buildings, five percent is quite nice. So, okay, let's go for ice ice court indoctrination. Let's do something like that. There we go. Well, I'm pleased we managed to throw back uh, Norska. That was a bit of... Oh, they have just, just abandoned the fucking Volksgrad. Uh, I think we can just all resolve that one. Yeah. 
Black Pearl Full Sai. Card from the highest quality Black Pearl Legend set the wearer will be granted the ability to see through the black ocean waters all the way to the sea floor where untold fortunes are buried. That's going to come in real useful in the East Snowblasts, um, but that's fine. We've actually got some interesting magical items, which is nice. Uh, Lawmaster's Cloak's quite an interesting one. Uh, that's a talisman. We'll keep that with you. Mistress of Ice. You can have that one. And that's a talisman no, as well. Okay, Father Ted, you get the Ring of Darkness, which I'm sure is fine. And Kislevite Kossar? That's not really going to help you very much, but that's fine. We'll keep it. I mean, you are going to be the one I throw into melee combat, so enjoy that. Be fun for you, won't it? And we obviously want Arcane Conduit. To be honest, I think any caster Legendary Lord should always get greater Arcane Conduit. And any any Lord that is especially known for being like a good wizard, like Teclis, for example, should get their own skill that is just... To be honest, I think any, any army general should get greater Arcane Conduit if there are caster Lord. This, that I is can. my opinion. There we go. Get two, two vortexes. Three damage per second. That's six damage per second. I guess we'll go with that one. To start off with, obviously. Uh, yes, yeah, so that will lock the others. So you can heal. Uh, that's vigor or melee attack. I'm kind of tempted to do melee attack. I mean, the heal would be useful. Okay, let's go. Let's go with the heal. Let's go with the heal. Uh, there's going to be a rebellion here. There's not much we can do about that. Um, Volt Scrad should be the one that gets rebellion, which means we can then bop it, which is fine. Then we want uh, to upgrade you. Really, what do we get here? Woods. Income from farms faction wide. Holy shit. Oh, but that's not. I was thinking of markets. What's a farm? Farm. There we go. Income generated. So that's 100, 100 income. But obviously, we get bonuses to that. Interesting. I, I actually quite like the way of doing that. I think that's a much better, like, because obviously that way, you, if, you, if you get lots of, like, you know, woods, for example, that's going to boost up your farms. Now, that's faction-wide, so that's quite powerful. But obviously, you know, trying to find provinces with wood is going to be quite... So, as, as you expand your empire, you, may, you might, you know, acquire a few. That's fine. Now, that's going to boost up your income. I far prefer that way than just having, like, a base income, because that means as your empire gets larger, you generally get more money, because you find... And, and it also makes a good objective, like, find these wood buildings because that's going to boost your income if that's what you want to do i prefer that way of doing it than just having like a big base income personally because obviously that way you have to balance it around the fact that you can build them in every se settlement and you could build them with two provinces so that means it's going so just having like a nice big boost is um makes it more interesting as well it makes it more useful so do we go for that because we're going to push north now aren't we i think i think we're going to push north i could deal with throt but i'm not too worried about him Friend. Oh, you we would you would join me in a confederation, which is good. Do I take that? I'd be silly not to. Let us celebrate. Obviously that does mean that Throt's in there somewhere, so we're gonna have to do something about that. We might lose some settlements here, but that's fine. Should I have done that? Was that a good idea? Ooh, I don't know. I'm, I'm second-guessing myself now. We could knock you down. But I think I'm going to... Now, right. Lord of the you are fired. Why have you got so many patriarchs? End the non -believers. I'm going to fire you. Upkeep minus four percent for Lord Alami. Get the get down here. One step backwards. Get down here, right? You. Live and die for 
You are Vanguard. You also got Skaven Denial. Melee attack plus two for the entire... I mean, you're not bad either. Oh, yeah. I deserve a larger retinue. You, uh, you know what? You know what? You're, you're no Freddie Mercury. In fact, what do you do? You're knowledgeable. Research rate. I mean, I could get behind that. I accept only loyal men. Only the most skilled may serve. Basically, we can try and rebuff this attack while Katarin deals with the Norskans. If we can push them back... A timely arrival. Maybe even get a piece out with them. That could be useful. And what can the Dowie do for you on this fine day? A trade agreement? Yes. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Lord Magistrate. The Rebel Lords of Nan Yang. Uh, I'm not going to do that. For Zhao Ming, though. Do you drag me from the forge? I would never drag gone you from you the forge. Well. I'm just going to keep making dragon jokes until he loses nut. Natural the J Custer. How do they feel about Zhao Ming? Are you pretty chill with that? To you? Oh, they do. They do approve. In which case, we will make friends with you. What? Lord, yes. No, we can. Now we get some more cash, which is useful. What do we have right? So, garrison-wise, it's not great. We are making a little bit of money here, which is, is quite nice. But my guess is we're probably going to lose Fort Ostrosk fairly soon. Ballsgrad is down there. What can we... You know what, actually? Let's recruit you boys. Let's recruit you boys. Oh, what have we got going on here? Uh, so we can do this. Yes, we could, couldn't we? How many sports do we have? 130. Uh, that's not really enough. That's not really enough. Oh, the Atamans, though. We do have another boy. So... Could put one in the Cursed City. We don't have anyone that's going so... You increase growth. Let's... Let's put you in there. Let's put you in there. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. Happy with that little choice. Uh, we got... Oh, we got Command... I mean, we've got all three... All three cities now. Which is pretty good. I'm fine with this. I like the growth because the sooner we get the growth, the sooner we can get the Erengrad Harbour. Which is going to be big monies. Which is really nice. So the sooner we can do that, the better. Approach and make your offer, Nordlands. I make no promises to my ascent. Don't like me. And hello. Hello, sir. And because what's Kostaltin up to these days? Then he's only got two. Hmm. I might. It might not have been a good idea to take that confederation. It might have been a poor choice. Okay, we've had the rebellion. That's okay. We've got the settlement besieged. Yep. Kind of. Kind of saw that one coming. Kind of saw that one coming. To be fair. Now, because you're just going to throw a shit ton of Skaven slaves at us and clan rats, which is not ideal, but we'll make do. You can get bot. Get a bot, mate. It's like a little bit of replenishment. That actually hurt a lot more than I thought it would, but never mind. Let's see if we can lure these guys in, because I reckon they are going to want to hit Voltsgrad because it's undefended. I can just see that being a thing. They're going to be like, ooh, that looks tasty. I'm a little bit worried about Erin Grab, but to be honest, I think we're probably fine. I would like more of a garrison there. We've got a, we've got a reasonable garrison at Prague. That's fine. Kislev's fine, so I'm not worried about those two. It's just everything else. Like we could upgrade this, so that would give us a little bit more, more cash, wouldn't it? Let's do that. 
We could get the farm as well. But I kind of feel like I need more supporters. And we'll upgrade Fort Jackov. Mostly because there's goblins in them bar hills. And we're not at war with them yet, but that's a f that's very much famous last words. And we'll become an ice mistress. My rule was absolute. It's not bad, is it? Oh, also we've got a skill point there. Uh, let's upgrade that. Because more heals, more good. I need to put you in that army as well, because you're going to reduce the upkeep, which is going to be very useful. It is our responsibility to vanquish yeah, vanquish it. You, no, um, look, you've only got one settlement. Concentrate on the main threat. Maybe. Just a thought. Winds of pain. Right. You are going in there. Money is looking pretty good. So let's recruit you guys. Did you... Okay, you didn't come... You didn't get ambushed, but you did just cross the river in March stance, which works for me. Because I can just bop you. Ow. Motherfucking hell! Son of a bitch, Ultra Resolve! Stop being such a dick! God damn it. Why? Why, Ultra Resolve? Why? Whichever woeful day. Okay, I was hoping you'd peace out. I've kind of got a lot of stuff on my plate. But um, you are under siege. So, okay, what we could do. Frostbank's bite. Or replenish. That's okay. It's fine. Um, you're fine. This is a little bit of a problem. Just sheer weight of numbers, really, is the problem. Where did the other Patriarch go to? There he is. You've got, a lot, you've got a lot of fucking... You've got two assassins there. And then there's two you, chieftains. If I can get them in a defensive battle at a settlement, we should actually be absolutely fine. I'm not going to upgrade you. I guess we could... I guess we could do that. And I kind of want to do this. Because that way you're going to take attrition. I probably should have done that a couple of turns ago, but to be honest, I thought they'd attack immediately. And they haven't. I'm going to get more income. Because I can. And this makes all of our farms give us more money, which is really nice. And, oh, Erengrad, I haven't done you. Okay, you get more. You just give me more money. Because the more money, the better. And if we can get... Anastas, Nicodoc, Nicodoc of Glory here... If we can get him a bit of a stack, then he should. <sighs> Problem is, he might get swarmed. That's the only issue. We kind of need to keep them at arm's reach, and we can't. Ambush discovered. That's not necessarily a problem, guys. Hi, guys. Hail. Do not be intimidated by the throng of Drengi. I, I don't... I, your thong is... Is yes. fine. Sorry, not you. I was talking to someone else. Uh, I don't want to trade Child with you. You are trade. Okay, you 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 be fine. No ill upon those who Dragons and Cafe. Who you be pretty chill. So we'll get a trade agreement with you. Babushka, babushka, ice court training reduction. We're not training anyone at the moment, but we could do. So let's do some training. And what we got? Plus recruit rank. Plus, mm. Neither of that's particularly interesting. But maybe get better cavalry? Oh. Okay, let's go and take these settlements. Looks like the Brotherhood of the Bear are retaking some territory. The Norskins are on the defensive, which is good. You're taking extra damage. I mean, I could potentially lure you into fighting me. Like, if I go here... 
We recruit more boys. Now, what could happen here is they may break off from the siege to attack me, but I can retreat. Unless they ambush me. Worst case, they, they ambush me. That That's worst case. Absolute worst case, they ambush me. That would be bad. But we might kill a few. So, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Uh, let's get hooked axe blades. That'd be good. Yeah, it looks after you. Apart from when she puts you in range of Skaven oh. potential ambushes. But I guess we'll have to see how that pans out next time. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.